Hey guys, this is Mike the Detroit Borg with a look at my pick for the top 5 Apple products of 2011. Now I've purchased and reviewed just about everything Apple has released or updated this year. That includes the iMac, MacBook Pro, Mac Mini, and MacBook Air, all of which gained Sandy Bridge Intel processors and high-speed Thunderbolt connectivity. Apple also updated the cinema display for Thunderbolt and renamed it the Thunderbolt Display. Also new for 2011 is the iPad 2 and iPhone 4S. Other incidentals include a white version of the iPod Touch 4th generation and updates to the Time Capsule and Airport Extreme, which brought next generation wireless technology for better speed and range. And of course we have the iPad 2 Smart Cover, which was probably half the excitement of the iPad 2 announcement. Not to be overlooked is software and services such as OS X Lion, Final Cut Pro 10 iOS 5, iCloud, and iTunes Match. Now in the year of spec upgrades, this is definitely where most of the excitement happened. So what are my picks for the top five new Apple products of 2011? Let's get started with number five. For number five, I have chosen iCloud, Apple's answer to the post-PC era, which finally cuts the cord and allows mobile and desktop to stay synced instantly and wirelessly. If you purchase music, apps, movies, or iBooks in iTunes, they appear automatically on your Mac, PC, Apple TV, or iOS device. If you add a contact, bookmark, or appointment on your iPhone, it's pushed instantly to everything else. Or if you create a document, you can edit on your iPad and see the changes take effect on the iPhone or your Mac. You can even back up and restore your iOS device from iCloud instead of iTunes. Other services include Photostream, which allow you to instantly share photos taken on an iOS device with everything else. We also have Find My iPhone and Find My Friends, which are apps that allow you to locate and communicate with iCloud connected Macs or iOS devices. Overall, iCloud makes owning and managing Apple devices much easier and further enhances the simplicity of the Apple ecosystem. And better yet, it's included free of charge with iOS 5 and OS X Lion. Number 4 is the iPhone 4S, which is an iPhone 4 spec upgrade that brings us a dual-core A5 processor, a redesigned antenna, and substantially better graphics performance for gaming. But the big news is the all-new 8-megapixel camera and the Siri voice assistant. The camera not only adds a high-resolution backlit sensor for improved low-light performance, but all-new optics with a larger aperture and five lenses for better color accuracy and sharpness. The new camera can also record in 1080p with stabilization, which makes a significant difference when compared to the iPhone 4. But the biggest feature is the Siri Voice Assistant, a cloud-based voice control system that uses natural language to perform complex tasks quickly, such as setting an appointment on your calendar, asking for directions, or sending a message or email complete with voice-to-text dictation. The only thing that has not been improved on the iPhone 4S is battery life, which has worsened substantially from the iPhone 4. This may be improved in software, but is preventing me from ranking the iPhone 4S as Apple's best device of 2011, unlike the iPhone 4, which ranked as my favorite Apple product of 2010. But in the end, Siri and the camera, as well as the beautiful design and retina display, still makes this a superb iPhone. For number three, I've chosen iOS 5, which brings over 200 new features to the iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. The most important of which is the Notification Center, which aggregates push notifications in a drop-down menu and eliminates the dreaded pop-up notifications, which would interrupt anything you were doing and then disappear when another notification appeared. Also new is iMessage, which brings free messaging between all iOS 5 devices, Reminders, which is a better way of generating to-do lists with location awareness, Wi-Fi Sync, which finally lets you sync to iTunes over Wi-Fi, PC Free lets you set up your iOS 5 device without connecting to iTunes, AirPlay Mirroring, which finally lets you see your iPhone 4S or iPad 2 screen on the monitor wirelessly, and full Twitter integration, which lets you tweet directly from Safari, Photos, Camera, YouTube, or Maps. Other features include newsstand for periodicals, widgets for weather and stocks, a faster Safari browser which adds tab browsing on the iPad, and enhancements to the camera app which lets you access it quickly from the home screen and use the volume control as a shutter release, and edit photos directly in the gallery app. The iPad 2 also picks up multi-touch gesturing and a split keyboard feature for thumb typing. 
Returning to the number two position from my 2010 list is the MacBook Air. For 2011, the Air received Intel's Sandy Bridge processor, Apple's new high-speed Thunderbolt technology, and a backlit keyboard. Although only spec upgrades, the performance gains double the performance of the Core 2 Duo from last year. If you combine this performance with a standard SSD, lighted keyboard, and sleek, lightweight unibody design, the MacBook Air is an unbeatable combination of performance and design. And for number one, I have chosen the iPad 2. Now, the iPad 2 is the only all-new product from Apple in 2011. It's not just a spec upgrade or revision, but an all-new design. The new hardware is significantly thinner and lighter with a faster dual-core A5 processor and better graphics. The iPad also picks up two cameras, one for FaceTime and the other for photos and video. However, the real magic happens when you combine the new hardware with iCloud and iOS 5, which adds multi-touch gesturing, a split keyboard, tab browsing, notification center, iMessage, and much more. Suddenly, the iPad becomes a far more powerful and usable device than it was when it launched and has climbed from my number three position from last year to the number one position for 2011. So that's going to do it for me, guys, this year. I really look forward to 2012 and all the exciting Apple wonders that lay ahead. Who knows what this list will look like in a year's time. Maybe you'll be watching it on an Apple HDTV. In any case, I'll see you again in the next video. Happy New Year. Happy Holiday.